Back to another lesson on WordPress here on Educator.com. Today, we are going to talk about themes, and this is where the fun begins. This is all about appearance and design and fun stuff that we can add a little bit juice. Up until now, we've basically been talking about the control panel of WordPress, how to add posts, how to link your words, and how to add media. Well, here we're going to talk about the look and feel, and this is what basically puts the taste behind the flavor, and it really is important to understand the themes. Uh, let's dive right in and kind of go into themes a little bit. I'll go ahead and uh, activate the slides here. So what are themes? Well, we're going to be talking about that. What are they, and how do we edit them, and of course, how do we change them? Well, I'm going to be telling you right now that this is an intro to themes, because themes are pretty complex. So today's lesson is mostly about, if I could rename it, I would call it the introduction to themes. Okay, because <clears throat> themes, uh, well, they, you can pay, pretty much take a class in itself about themes because a lot of them uh, involve some coding, so, uh, HTML and CSS coding. If you know that, you do have an advantage of maintaining and customizing themes. And what I mean, again, what I mean by theme is the look and feel, the layout, how it appears, where the images appear on your site. Uh, if you go to my website right now, the one that I create with, with me there, you notice that the theme is responsible for, for instance, the black area where my name appears, the uh, verbiage over there underneath my name, which is called privacy for some reason. But at any rate, we're going to change that. And of course, the colored background uh, behind the text, this section right here, the right side where it says recent posts, archives, and of course, blog roll, where we talked about how that was added in, the, uh, in a previous links discussion. So colors, uh, placement layouts, things like that, that's what we discuss. That's what we will be discussing here. And it all has to do with themes, okay? And of course, you can control that. It doesn't matter which theme you have, you can always control it and customize it to your likability if you know some HTML and CSS. Now, here's a good thing. You don't have to know HTML and CSS to have the theme that you want. There are several different tools out there, okay? And there are several different widgets out there. Okay, and widgets are sort of like add-on programs <clears throat> that allow you to add functions and uh, aspects and features to your to your WordPress uh, site. And we're going to be discussing that also in a later. So today, right for this lesson only, we're only going to be introducing themes. And I think you'll find it very enjoyable because it really allows you to have more control over your look and feel. And you'll see why after this is why WordPress has become pretty much the world's number one CMS pro, uh, system. So why don't we go to the next phase and